We are getting married. Ah, how blessed am I. I want nothing more than to be the man of your dreams. Today is the day, baby. The day we have been waiting for. The day we will remember for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to say I do, because I wholeheartedly do. Always have and always will. God led me to you on purpose February 24, 2017. You complete my heart and bring me joy. I can't contain my excitement for this day to become an Aylers and to start our lives as one. You are my favorite person of all time. I'm so glad you fought for me and have continued to. You don't know or understand how much that means to me. I prayed for that. I know that we have had ups and downs, great times and fights, but regardless of any of that, we are always here for each other. You are my best friend, the only person who I feel safe to tell every single thing to. Please know my vows are for my heart and we have to continue to work for our relationship. It's a constant thing to work on and towards. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. You're going to be my hubby. I love you so much. Taylor Ayler's. You have been the best thing that has ever happened to me in 25 years of life. From the moment I first met you to our first date, to the day I get got down on my knee, to the day we found out about Nugget, to today you have blessed me in more than just presence and love, but also in the way you carry yourself regardless of what life brings. From your beautiful eyes, your warming smile, your caring words and actions, I could go on and on and on and on. You are perfect inside and out and I love every part of you. I am always going to be here right at your side regardless of what life brings us our way. You are my one and only and if we continue to just leave it at the foot of the cross and grow with God, nothing will ever come between us. I can't wait to grow old with you and dance through the party pearly gates with you, but nothing but joy for eternity with my beautiful tater bug. I love you. <laughs> he is. When I go to thinking back about how the two of you met, uh, I remember Ryan calling me one morning and he said, uh, Dad, I met this girl named Taylor. And he's talking about how pretty you were. <laughs> and uh, he said, Dad, she loves to hunt. She's involved with photography and she's this and she's that. And the boy hardly took a breath. And I'm like, what's up with you, boy? <laughs> uh, he went on to talk about where you was from and what you liked to do and who your friends were and on and on and on. Uh, I knew at that point, Taylor, that you were something special. What I want to focus on here is that God did not want man to be alone. He wanted him to have a helpmate and a companion for life, so he created a woman. So, Ryan, always, always, always remember what a gift Taylor is to you. God loved you so much that he made a companion in your life and her name is Taylor. Never forget to be thankful for who she is in Christ. In front of God, myself, and these witnesses, and the power granted me by the state of Texas, it's with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. Son, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>